Nick, really lovely to see you. I, I can't quite believe I'm saying to you that we're two months out from a World Cup. If I'm finding it surreal, you must be. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially now we, you know, come into an England camp and away from you know your club. Uh, I think it, you know the reality is really there. That is, you know, two games and you know, like you say, eight weeks until you know a World Cup's coming. So yeah, it's, it's you no. Know, as an England player, it's, it's what you look forward to. You know, and it's you know exciting times. I know you've only trained one day, but does it feel a different intensity out there? I think uh, there's a real enthusiasm. I think you can sense that and kind of, you know, an excitement within the group. Um, you know, some of us, you know, fortunate enough to go to the last World Cup. Some of them, it'll be, you know, the first time. But, you know, the excitement still is, is still, you know, the same because, it, you know, it's the biggest tournament in the world. So, yeah, it's uh, glad to be part of this squad and uh, looking forward. I think, um, yeah, the World Cup's there for, you know, is, is a carrot for everyone. Yeah, with Jordan out, you've obviously the, the senior player in terms of the goalkeepers union what have you been able to to say to Aaron Ramsdale and Dean Henderson about it yeah the, the age the age um average age has gone down which is unfortunate <laughs> um but um yeah two great lads obviously I, I've been in squads with both of them before and um you know we, we always have a good group here so it's always for myself um you know nice to come away and you know you know, and train with them guys and, you know, have a, have a you know, good laugh together, but, you know, push each other as well when, when we are training. So, no, it's, uh, it's, good. it's been good to have a catch up with them today and uh, be on the grass with them for sure. Is there a little bit of a concern? Obviously, Jordan's out with a, a thigh injury. We are just two months out of the World Cup. This is potentially your moment to, to step up. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, great. Obviously, um, Jordan's injury, I don't think so. Um, too bad which is great you know we won't have the, the strongest squad possible to pick from so um yeah I've just for, for myself I'm looking forward to you know the next two games here of England and you know we've got you know two great games as well you know you're talking Italy away in the San Siro and obviously Germany at Wembley. How key was that move and, and, and what do you think you've improved in your game to to make Gareth Southgate look so closely at you under Eddie Howe? Um hey you might have to ask him uh yeah, I feel um, I'm in a good space at the minute. Um, obviously, uh, in a in a team that's you know performing well and has has great ambitions, and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying my football. And I think that's a, a massive thing uh, as a footballer. I think if you're enjoying it, it things are going well, and you, you're playing at a good level. So um, yeah, I'm enjoying my football at the minute, and you know coming here uh, to England, you know, in, in a good space. So um, yeah, I'm hopefully to you know play some more football and you know, and take, take myself on again. How has your game adapted, though? Because Eddie's trying, obviously, to, to play out from the back. You and I have spoken before about mm -hmm. criticism that gets levelled at you about, you know, playing with the ball at your feet. How do you feel that's improved? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, dis different expectations in my club this year than um, mainly before um, at Burnley. But, you know, something that we work on in training, we have full pre-season, you know, at, um, just me and players are getting used to each other really at club you know when you sign for a new club that's um, a process that takes a little bit of time but um, yeah like you say we've, we're trying to play out from the back a little more than I have done in previous years but that's something that you know signing for a club that I wanted to take on I wanted to you know be a part of and yeah it's so far so good and I'm enjoying the challenge of, of that as well as you know everything else that there is to be a goalkeeper because uh, it's not just you know, making passes, you know, you've got to make saves and catch crosses sometimes as well. Yeah, you're, you're quite an important part of the eleven, I would say. Um, it's going to be interesting times for England. Obviously, you were part of the group for the Nations League. Watching from the bench, how do you observe it, having had a couple of months to, to sit back and reflect? Yeah, obviously, at, at the time, it was um, difficult to go through, um, you know, Four, four tough games that they were and obviously that's how it kind of panned out um, and then we went into a summer break and we're back this season fresh I think um, in football whether it's club or international you're best off putting them you know parking them things and putting them behind you and the best way to do that is to put performances in again and, and get winning again you know we had we had a great run before that of you know games undefeated um, and at playing at a really high level um, but yeah, in the summer, you know, we've got to look at ourselves and, you know, we definitely dipped our levels and, and that coincided in, you know, dipping results. So, like I say, World Cup coming up, the, the best thing for us to do now is 
putting their performances back in and, and getting back to our levels and yeah, getting getting wins back on the board. And Gareth Southgate, when he announced the squad last week, talked about some players being out of form, not getting minutes with, with their clubs, bearing in mind this is the last time you're all going to get together before finding out whether you're going to be on the final flight to Qatar. Do you feel as if there's a little bit of, of tension with everybody kind of feeling like they've got to come out and prove themselves? I don't think there's tension. Like I say before, I think it's more excitement of the, the opportunity of a World Cup and you know, maybe some players haven't had quite had the minutes that they would like, but there is still two months of club football to go. So I don't think, you know, any, that's anything to, to worry about too much and to look into too much because, there's, you know, there's a lot of football to play. We've got a condensed fixture list now because of, you know, the break for the World Cup. So there's a lot of games midweek, weekend. Um, so... Yeah, I don't think that's anything you know people within the squad are worried about. Yeah, it it's always tends to be external concerns, <laughs> doesn't it? We know we know that, but defensively, it does feel as if there are going to have to be some changes because John Stones can't feature in the first game because he's suspended. There are question marks over Harry Maguire's form at the moment, and Eric Dyer is back in the side. So, how do you, as a goalkeeper, go about working with what will be a different back line each time? Well, it, it just is a different back line. Whoever plays, you know, I'm used to playing beyond two lads in black and white. So, um, yeah, it's very much used to coming here and playing and playing behind new players. And, you know, great, great for Eric that he's back in the squad. Um, I was obviously with him a few years ago and, you know, always knew he's a, he's a top, top player. And I'm delighted to see kind of him get picked again and the, the form he's shown, you know, he deserves to be here. So great to see him back in the squad. And, yeah, it's a... a, a you know, department we're strong in. You know, you can see by the the squad that's been picked that um, we've got a real strength in depth there. So whoever plays, you know, I've, I've got high you know trust and belief in them. That they're, they're of a you know tremendously high level. It's got one final question for you. It's on uh, Ivan Tony, who okay. obviously you faced um, in the opposite uh, <laughs> end of the goal. What attributes does he has? Uh, I'm sure you're pleased that he's playing for yeah, you, not against yeah. you. Yeah, he's not reminding me of that yet, but I'm <laughs> sure there's, there's still a week ahead. So, um, yeah, obviously, you know, someone else, like I said about Eric, who you know deserves to be here for his form you know, back end of last season and, and this season's, you know, been been top draw and I've enjoyed watching him play. And yeah, like you say, I'm, I'm glad he's on our team and uh, yeah, I look forward to you know training with him more and. Um, and you know, seeing him, you know, put on an England shirt.